Endocytosis is a fundamental process that cells use to take up materials from their surroundings. During endocytosis, endosomes are formed and pinched off from the plasma membrane, the limiting lipid bilayer of the cells. Some of the components of the endosomal content are directed towards the lysosomes for degradation, while others will be recycled to replenish the plasma membrane by a process called exocytosis, the opposite of endocytosis. The balance of endocytosis and exocytosis is important for every cell and can be studied using a tiny model organism, the fruit fly. Fruit fly larvae have a specialized cell type, the so-called garland nephrocytes. These are spherical, binucleated cells that surround the esophagus and float in the body fluid. Nephrocytes are similar to the podocytes in our kidney. By intensive endocytosis, they remove unnecessary metabolites and harmful toxins from the circulation. We use nephrocytes to study the function of the snozarus protein. But what do we know about snozarus? In the lipid storing fat body, snozarus mediates lipid transfer between the plasma membrane, lipid droplets, and the endoplasmic reticulum as a part of membrane contact sites. In nephrocytes, however, we found that instead of lipid droplets, snozarus interacts with Reb11. Reb11 is a key regulator protein of exocytosis. By counteracting Reb11 on recycling endosomes, snozarus limits the amount of membrane directed towards the plasma membrane. In the absence of snozarus, Reb11 activity is unleashed, too much exocytosis generates excess membrane, and infoldings are formed from the plasma membrane. As a compensatory response, endocytosis is upregulated leading to the expansion of the endosomal population. Based on our model, Snozarus maintains the balance between endocytosis and exocytosis by counteracting Reb11 in nephrocytes.